Hey, how y'all doing out there in YouTube land? This is the letter coming at you from the wild, wild west. And today, just another little discussion video. This discussion video is going to be about 80, 20.5. One of my favorite subjects. <laughs> All I got to say is that I absolutely love my 80, 20.5s. And they're a fun knife to trick out and customize because there's so many parts being made for them. It's just awesome. These are these are fantastic knives. I can't say any anything else. If you like to fidget, they're the best fidgeters. As a utility knife, they're a great utility knife. The edges hold hold well on mine. I haven't had any edge issues or anything like that. They sharpen very nicely. I just, I, I love, I absolutely love them. I mean, this is my favorite, this is my number one favorite three inch blade folder. Awesome. I love the weight of them. Everything's perfect. Everything's perfect about these. These two come from Rips um, Garage Tech, R RG, RGT, is that right? RGT. And you either get them from, you, you, you get these scale setups. These are all custom scaled knives. And you can either get this set of scales and backspacer from Rips Garage Tech, RGT.com, or um, you can go to DLT Trading. And that's the reason why I made this video. As you know, this one, I've done the titanium. That's a stonewashed titanium, smooth titanium from Original Goat. I absolutely love this setup. With a titanium backspacer, titanium handle scales. This is pretty expensive, though. It's you know when you when you add up all the parts and what you pay for it, you know just for the, the titanium things. I think they're. I can't remember exactly what they cost. I want to say one forty nine or something like that, just for the scales. And then you got to buy the backspacer. The backspacer was like forty dollars, so that makes it like one ninety or something like that. So that's $190 to make, you know, this type, not, that's not including the pocket clip, which is another $22 or something like that. So, and then you got to buy the knife. So it's, it's fairly expensive to do this titanium setup, but it is beautiful. And these titanium scales are super, super high quality. Super, super high quality. Absolutely love them. I highly recommend these, but it's not cheap. It's not inexpensive to make this knife. That's my point. Now these are aluminum scales, and I absolutely love these too. This one has the ball groove backspacer, and as I found out with these, that the ball, if you're, if you're going to use the, um, the shark's foot blade, I keep wanting to say sheep's foot, shark's foot blade, you want to get the ball groove backspacer or the V groove backspacer. So your blade won't hit the backspacer where the um, lanyard hump is. So this lanyard hole right here, it'd really be nice if, you know, because I don't need a lanyard. Me, myself, I don't really need lanyards. I don't, do, I don't use lanyards. It'd really be nice if they just deleted that hole and got rid of that hump in the, in the backspacer. And then it'd work really nicely with the um, shark's foot blade. Or at least offer backspacers like that. But I love these aluminum, this aluminum backspacer. Aluminum scales with, with a ceramic coating. It's very durable, too. This one right here is pretty much the same thing, just a different pattern. This one's called, oh, this one was called the nuts. You know, like bolts and nuts. Sort of trying to look like little nuts. That's what that pattern's called. Very nice pattern. I love the ones with the patterns the best, though, because these offer a lot of grip. And this one's called the shark's tooth pattern. This has the V groove. Works really good. The blade doesn't hit it at all. Works very good. And the, the one thing nice about the aluminum ones is that they're a little bit thinner and they're really light. So they don't really change the weight of the knife. So you still got a nice 50-50 balanced knife. Perfect balanced knife. Whereas when, when you get, I think these weigh 3.7 ounces. And this one is like 4.8 or 9 or something like that. But it makes the handle really heavy. And so you still got decent balance, but it's not perfect no more. 
I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit handle heavy. Can you see that? It's weighing down this side. But it's not severely handle heavy. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And the reason why I made this video, because you know, you know I've made a lot of 80, 20.5 videos, is because I want to let y'all know something. DLT trading and RGT have titanium handle scales now. And they come with the back spacer. The titanium handle scale comes with the back spacer. So you don't have to buy a separate back spacer. You get the, you get the titanium scales and the back spacer. They're all matched. And they have like different um, finishes. They have like a, a what do you call it, a, a rough stone wash or something like that. A, 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 a regular stone wash, uh, like different textures and finishes. Well, anyway, I had to get them. I got the black stone wash. The black stone wash. And I just had to tell you guys, I couldn't keep it a secret any longer. I'm, I'm kind of jazzed about it. But I got the black stone wash. And which knife am I going to use to make that one? My DLT trading. DLT trading exclusive and that'd be the perfect one to use for with the DLT trading because I got them, got them from DLT the black stone wash titanium handle scales and it was $159 for the complete set with the backspacer everything so it's a lot less expensive it's about I know, about $30 $40 less expensive than doing this doing it this way and I absolutely love these are RGT scales. Absolutely love the RGT scales. I don't know. What the, I don't know exactly how the titaniums are going to be. I don't know if they're going to be as thick as these, or if they're going to be thinner, so they can be a little bit light, less weight. You know, light, lighter weight. But these are the thickest, thickest. Um, these are, these handle scales have the most girth out of any of the um, 80, 80 20.5 um, setups I've seen for scales and backspacers. These are the thickest. This one's called the Python, Python pattern. Absolutely love it. And I didn't use the, um, the clips on them because I like, having, I like having knives without clips too. And so I got a lot of these already with clips. And so I decided to run these without the clips because with the extra girth, they feel really good in your hand without the clip. You just got to try it to see what I'm talking about. They have a really good feeling. And so these make great, you know, for me, motorcycle jacket pocket knives. I don't use clips on. The only ones I need clips for are the ones I carry inside my pocket or inside the vest. But the ones I carry in my motorcycle jacket pocket, I don't, I don't use clips on those knives. It goes for my old cold steels too. You know, you've seen the old cold steels I carried inside jacket pocket. I don't put clips on them. And those are usually my fanciest knives because they're totally hidden and nobody can see them. I don't like to carry fancy knives that everybody can see because that attracts attention to them like a fishing lure. I absolutely love these. So I just want to put that out there. Go to DLT Trading or Rips, Rips Garage Tech and check out the new handle scales. They're out. They're out. And they even got carbon fiber if you want carbon fiber. You know, about the same price you can get the carbon fiber. I was tempted to get the purple haze. You know, I like the purple colors. But I decided I wanted, I wanted to get the titaniums more. I wanted to get those because I already have. This is, this is a linen micarta and this is a canvas micarta. I already have other, you know, Rips Garage Tech um, handle scales, but I don't have the titanium set from Rips Garage. Now, I like to see fly, tan fly titanium come out with the brass ones. That's the other ones I want to try out too, is the fly titaniums when they come out with the brass ones. But they keep saying, coming soon, coming soon. It's been coming soon for the last six months. What's up? What's up? But anyway, all made in USA. All these parts are made in USA. And all I got to say is, Peace out and have a great day. Hope you all like these little short videos I do for you today. Peace. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Let me let you all know about this too. One more, one more little bit of knife news from, from a Stiletto here. I ordered some other knives and I won't have any new knives probably until like next week or the week after that. And I got some very cool knives coming in. You know, besides the, the handle scales, we're going to do that too. That's already in order. And I got a couple of K-bars, K-bar fixed blades coming in. And what else I got? 
Oh, the new deadbolt I told you guys I was going to get. The other deadbolt, I think I... I, I forget, it's a, it's a um, Japanese style Tonto Blade. And um, that one's going to be coming in too. I can't wait to get that one too. Black G10, black handle scales. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, black D2 Blade. But anyway, that's about all I got for you. Oh, I got I got another I got another fi uh, fixed blade coming in too. And it's a big one. Well, a couple of them are really big. But I got two big ones and a small one. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. Y'all just have to wait until they come in to see them. <laughs> but I haven't been making a lot of videos lately because I haven't, I, don't have, I haven't had anything new to show you guys. And so I just put out these information videos because I haven't done anything in about a week or so because I had something go wrong with my bike and I had to get it fixed. And I haven't quite, I bought the parts, but I haven't fixed it yet. But I have to, um, fix my rear brake on my bike and hopefully it's just the rear the rear caliper and not the master cylinder so then I'll have to get a master cylinder too but I bought, I bought a, a new uh, brake line and a rebuild kit for the rear brake it seized up on me the, the rear brake seized and so I'm taking it all the way apart and redoing it my bike's almost 20 years old it's a 2003 and and since I've had it, I, you know, I got the engine all tricked out. You know, I, I went through the engine at, at Sacramento Harley Davidson, go through the engine and and upgrade everything as far as the cam bearings and the um, and the and the chain tensioner. I put the Screaming Eagle chain chain tensioner, Screaming Eagle cam bearings, so I can rev higher safely without tearing up my motor. And what else did I did to it? Oh, I got the Pingle shift electronic shifter put in it and. And tuned and everything, but I didn't do the brakes. I probably should have did the brakes too, but I didn't get my brake service. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brakes. But anyway, that's the reason why I haven't bought a lot of stuff lately. Because you know, usually I buy, try to buy something every week or something like that. But I, I've had to you know spend some money on getting my bike fixed because it's gonna be summertime here, and I, I want to be able to ride whenever I want to ride. So uh, peace out, stiletto. Y'all stay cool out there. Stay safe. And people in Ukraine. Damn, I love y'all. Y'all, y'all some soldiers. Y'all some soldiers. Putin's doing his damnness to try to destroy y'all. And and y'all fighting. Y'all fighting. I, I wish our country would... I know they're worried about nuclear war and all that kind of stuff. But I wish, you know, we can just go and help and kick the Russians out. Now I don't like Belarus either. Yeah, Belarus. But anyway, peace out. Stella, stiletto.